My name is Boy Vuvoye and I am harmonica player and lead singer in Gumbo Kings and we make our own modern version of soul and rhythm and blues. Well I guess Gumbo food uh, originally is like from New Orleans and um, it's a real mix of uh, different ingredients, there can be fish, there can be meat and it's also a mix of different cultures and I think that's what we do with the band as well, we try to combine uh, a few styles together, like I said, soul, rhythm and blues, and other stuff, maybe a little bit of gospel or funk. And um, we throw it all together, if, as you can say, like in a good gumbo. So that's, uh, that's where that comes from. I need to make a move If I want to live Got to make some changes somehow Well, I guess the harmonica of all the, in of, I mean, not of all the instruments, but the harmonica is very similar to the human voice. Like, you can do a lot of things that you can also do to express yourself with your voice. You can also do it with the harmonica, I guess. So there's a lot of similarities. But, um, that's a really good question. I never, I never thought about it that way. But, um, no, I guess when you're playing harmonica, I'm thinking a bit more because it's like an instrument and you have to like be a bit more aware of what you're doing technically and I'm never aware of that when I'm singing. So maybe that's the difference. Muddy was some kind of an uncle to me, like I thought I, I, yeah, I thought I knew the guy, you know, because the voice was so familiar to me, um, and B.B. King, but I mean, I'm as a singer, I'm nowhere, I mean, you have to do your own thing, because you will never get into the same ballpark as those guys, I mean, not, not only in terms of range, but also a lot of other stuff, so it's not like I'm saying that I'm trying to sound like those guys, but yeah, those are the voices of my youth, really, B.B. King as well, I mean, yeah. I listen to that a lot too. I don't like blues singers nowadays that try to, I mean, that try to sing about things that they haven't lived through. Like a broken heart, we all know that and we can all relate to that. But I mean, you shouldn't be the white guy in the, in the bar playing uh, a cover where it's about work on a plantation. I mean, you don't hear it that often, but when people do that, I don't know, I don't think it's... Yeah, it's awkward because uh, you're singing about it, like, I don't know, I even have a bit of song like Georgia on my mind. It's an, I don't know, I don't know, what's Georgia to you, you know, can you sing? I don't know anything about the state of Georgia, only that Ray Charles came from it, you know. Um, so even with a, with a song like that, I'm like I'm hearing someone sing it, and I'm like, yes, yeah, Georgia, that important to you? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly critical. Uh, originally we, we write a lot out of the groove so um, and out of the music and, and then the lyrics are added later and maybe for the next album I'll try to write more songs where you start with I don't know I like that idea that you can start with just one melody line like that's already the song like you can explain to your band I mean everything that you can add it shouldn't be in the way of that one line you know what I mean that's the song right there I really like that idea. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm quite there yet as a songwriter, but that's what you should aspire to, I guess. And I, right now I could come up with a song for you uh, and I sing just a melody line and you're like, whoa, that's a good song. I think that's the, the thing that you should be looking for. But um, I don't know, it's tempting to write out of a good guitar riff or a good drum beat, you know, it's, it feels good, so yeah. It'll be looking for me This voice without sympathy Tearing open my old scar 
On April 1st, we'll release our first single. Um, we'll do it a bit differently this time. We'll release five singles over the next couple of months and then come with an EP in September. It's called In The Dark. And I don't know, we tried a lot of new stuff on the album for a r more traditional rhythm and blues band like us. We tried drum computers, synthesizers. So uh, together with Paul Williamson from Michelle David and the True Tones, uh, as a producer, we made the new record. So there's a lot of exciting new stuff uh, on there. Yeah. It's because of all the little things that you said and done to me. Yes, 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 you got me tied up, baby. You got me tired of your kissed off love. Yes, I'm tired of all you cheating. Now everything's happened again and I have to say, I have to get used to it a little bit. I'm way more <laughs> excited before the show than I am normally, like, uh, it's more tense because, you know, I, I don't know, I hope I still remember all the stuff. 